Aluminum alloys have been widely used for automobile industry as well as the aerospace industry. Hopefully we can design uh, some aluminum alloys with mechanical strength much greater uh, than the current aluminum alloy and at a level that is comparable to something like high strength steel. So what we want to do is to shorten the alloy development by using a technique so-called a combinatorial technique where you can get multiple alloys with different chemistries within a short period of time. Here at Purdue, we have a unique tool for magnetron sputtering deposition. The ionized argon molecule will bombard uh, the materials, whatever we put into the high vacuum chamber, and the material will be deposited on the substrate. So we just need to uh, go through a lot of combinations to determine the right chemistry to develop the high strength aluminum alloys. Out of this dozen system we have explored so far, we identified iron tends out to be very important to improve the mechanical strength. And the fundamental reason behind this is because we introduced the high density in IR phase. Aluminum has a unique property in terms of its high stacking fault energy. In general, they only deform by generating uh, mobile dislocations. And in order to generate twin boundaries or stacking faults, you have to do something special. We collaborate with the Rice University to use their high-speed projectile setup to impact our samples. And after the impact experiment, we put them into the TEM to see the microstructure of the film after the impact and to explore new deformation mechanism in the material. We identified super long stacking faults in aluminum. And these super long stacking faults, they have a uh, night repeating layer structure. So this is so-called a IR phase. And IR phase in aluminum is really hard to be generated, again, because of its giant stacking fault energy. And we've seen IR phase in aluminum film after the shock impact, so we were so surprised about this. And so that's why we look into this in greater details. Uh, so now we can make aluminum with a little bit of iron. Uh, we can increase their strength to about 1, 1.5 uh, GPA. And this level is comparable to some of the high strength modern city extended steel. And that will have a huge impact to aluminum alloy industry.